सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड दिस सेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल द गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम स्पेशली फॉर द अपकमिंग नबार ग्रेड एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन and if you want to enroll in the nabard crash course you can visit anujinder.in the live classes of both ard and esi are going on right so let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question which says name the app launched by ministry of ayush which is headed by sarbanand sonowal for creating awareness of pediatric preventive healthcare through ayurveda intervention among parents right so you just have to tell the name of this app which has been launched by ministry of ayush all right so let's talk about it what is this app the name of the app is bal raksha what is the name of the app bal raksha and this app has been launched by ministry of ayush do remember this and of course ayush stands for ayurveda yoga unani siddha and homeopathy i hope you all know this and talking about this app so this app is aimed at creating awareness among the parents regarding pediatric preventive healthcare through ayurveda interventions how the parents can use ayurveda to take care of their child right and it will also use it will also be used to collect feedback from parents regarding the impact of the kit on their children's health and uh, immunity right and this kit they are talking about an ayurveda kit which are being provided to the parents right and uh, uh, by the all india institute of ayurveda which is located in new delhi right and along with this a vaccination center was also launched for children at the same institute which is all india institute of ayurveda located in new delhi all right now coming back to the question the correct answer is option b bal raksha right bal raksha is the name of the app moving ahead to question number 2 ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying is implementing fish farmers producer organization scheme यहाँ पे स्कीम भी होना चाहिए वर्ड दिस इज अ बेसिकली इट इज अ सब स्कीम बेसिकली अंडर प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना तो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग फिश फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्कीम अंडर पीएम मत्स्य संपदा योजना द स्कीम एनवाइसेज इज सेटिंग अप ऑफ एफ एफ पी ओस टू अचीव इंक्लूसिव एंड सस्टेनेबल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द फिशरी सेक्टर क्वेश्चन इज वॉट विल बी द टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट अंडर द स्कीम और यू कैन से वॉट इज द टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट जो कि की जाएगी अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ एफ एफ पी ओ दैट इज फिश फार्मर्स प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस न्यूज सो रिमेंबर इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स अ रिप्लाई हैज बिन सबमिटेड इन पार्लियामेंट रिगार्डिंग दिस सब स्कीम एंड एज पर दिस सब स्कीम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड अंडर प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना एंड रिगार्डिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो इन डिटेल अबाउट प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना सो यू कैन Uh, search for anu jindal government schemes there you will have a playlist of all the government schemes there i have covered this scheme in detail right so you can watch the details of this scheme there so the ffpos this scheme under pm msy strives to achieve inclusive and sustainable transformation of the fishery sector now how it will achieve this uh, this in the fishery sector by establishing 720 ffpos across the country how many ffpos uh, will be established so 720 ffpos will be established under this scheme do remember this with a total investment of rupees 135 crores right out of this 720 ffpos 500 ffpos are to be established under pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana however the rest 220 ffpos will be established under the uh, fpo scheme which is being run by the department of agriculture and farmers welfare राइट right, जो कि उनकी एक सेपरेट स्कीम है हम सबने पढ़ा भी है सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ एफपीओ उसके अंडर बाकी 220 बनाए जाएंगे राइट एंड एनसीडीसी नेशनल कोऑपरेटिव डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन एंड नेशनल फिशरीज डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड आर दी नोडल एजेंसी फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ दीज एफ एफ पी ओज और राइट सो देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज वॉट ऑप्शन सी वन थर्टी फाइव करोड बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग द इन्वेस्टमेंट अंडर दिस स्कीम और राइट मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू consider the following statements with respect to nfhs 5 data for scheduled tribes only and you have to identify the correct statement 
Now this data have been given by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs in the Parliament. Now who is the Minister of Tribal Affairs? Arjun Munda. Arjun Munda is the Minister. His Lok Sabha constituency is Khunti, which is in Jharkhand, right? So uh, as per the reply submitted by the Minister in the Parliament, STs के लिए जो NFHS data है उसके बारे में उन्होंने बात करी है not only NFHS उसके अलावा कुछ और भी data है तो from NFHS with respect to ST this is the data number one infant mortality rate it has declined from 62.1 in 2005-06 to 41.6 in the last NFHS that is the period of 2019 to 21 right then talking about under 5 mortality rate so it has also declined from 95.7 in 2005-06 to 50.3 in the year 2019-21 as per the previous NFHS that is NFHS 5 right institutional delivery may be sudhar hua hai it has increased from 17.7% in 2005-06 it was just 17.7% in 2005-06 and it has increased to a whooping 82.3% in 2019-20 although almost 15 saal lag gaya aisa hone mein but yes we have achieved this and Immunization of children between the age group of 12 and 23. The immunization level has also increased from 31.3% to 76.8% in the year 2019 to 21. Right. Iske there are some more data. Like as per the periodic labor force survey, the literacy rate for STs, the scheduled tribes in our country, the literacy rate, hai, it has also increased to how much? 71.6%. And as per the erstwhile planning commission, before Niti Aayog, we had planning commission. I hope you all know this. So as per the erstwhile planning commission, the people, the ST people living below poverty line in rural areas, in rural areas, it has declined from 62.3% in 2004-05 to 45.3% in 2011-12. Now you must be wondering how we'll be able to remember so much data. So you have to. Dekho, aajkal question kuch bhi aajata hai, kahin se bhi aajata hai. Especially if I talk about the Nawad examination, bhoat hi deep question wo loog pooch lete hai. So you have to remember this data. And there is only one way out for this. That is the continuous revision. Bar bar padho ke, eki cheez ko to of course wo yaad ho hi jayegi. And during the examination, you will have options as well. So options dekh ke bhi, jo hai aapko madad milegi, right? And uh, same below poverty line people in the urban areas as per planning commission it was it, it declined from 35.5% in 2004 5 to 24.1% in 2011 12. So these are some of the data provided by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs with respect to the scheduled tribes in the country. And now let's come back to the question infant mortality rate it is 41.6 absolutely correct under 5 MR 50.3 AB say here. Institutional deliveries, it is not 52.3, it is 82.3 percent. So this is incorrect, which means option A, only 1 and 2 will be the correct answer because we have to identify the correct statement, right? Moving ahead to question number 4. Ministry of Tribal Affairs is implementing tribal sub-plan, scheduled tribe component, development action plan for STs for overall development of the tribal people across the country, okay? Besides, Ministry of Tribal Affairs, 41 central ministries or departments have been obligated for year marking in the range of dash of their total scheme allocation every year in these uh, sub schemes or the programs or the action plans for tribal development you have to fill this gap so basically the question is very simple ki jitni bhi hamare ministries hain aur departments hain apne total scheme allocation ka kitna percent wo st development ke liye kharch karte hain and how much percent of that uh, allocation is contributed toward, towards these three funds, right? So that's the range. There is a range actually, it is not fixed. And this range is 4.3% to 17.5%. Depending upon the scheme, jo bhi scheme hai, uske hisaab se, there is a range. Theke? This is not a fixed percentage, right? It is 4.3% to 17.5%. All right. And in today's session, guys, there are 10 questions, right? Because 24 sari ko Sunday tha, to us din. Of course, parliamentary session nahi hua tha, to isliye aaj thodi si kam news hai. Thikhe? But phir bhi kam nahi hai, 10 questions to tab bhi hai. Name the state level command and control center of Gujarat police, which has been inaugurated by Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Very straightforward and direct question. Of course, they are not going to ask you the details of the state level command and control center. Right? 
Just remember, it was inaugurated by Union Home Minister Mota Bhai Amit Shah, and the name of this control command and control center is Trinetra. Option A, Trinetra is the name of the center. All right, and of course, do remember it is for the Gujarat Police. We are talking about Gujarat Police, right? Question number six: Name the project being implemented by Gujarat Police for installation of modern technical services in the police department. Actually, the previous three netra, this one, जो भी हमने पीछे क्वेश्चन देखा, this center was also uh, installed or you can say established under this project, जिसकी हम यहाँ पे बात कर रहे हैं. And this project belongs to Gujarat Police. The name of the project is Vishwas. Option C is the correct answer, right? Moving ahead to question number seven, how many street vendors were covered under Swanidhi Se Samriddhi campaign? Now this campaign, the phase one was launched in the month of January 2021, and this campaign was launched for social economic profiling of the Swanidhi beneficiaries, so that the benefits can be provided, the benefits of uh, social economic schemes can be provided to the street vendors and their families, right? The phase one was launched in the month of January 2021. Phase two was launched recently in this year, right? But this question is regarding phase one only. How many street vendors were covered under Swanidhi Se Samriddhi campaign launched in January 2021 by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by Hardeep Singh Puri? So the number of street vendors is 31 lakh. Option E is the correct answer, right? Question number eight. पे आ जाते हैं. In which state or UT National Mission for Clean Ganga has organized Clean Ganga campaign at seven ghats of River Yamuna? This is a very basic question. See, if I am an examiner, I will not ask this question. But these days, they are asking anything. So that is why I have to cover such things as well, right? So National Mission for Clean Ganga ne kaha pe Clean Ganga campaign organized kara tha? Uh, not uh, it was Clean Yamuna campaign, not Clean Ganga. It's Clean. Yamuna campaign, right? So it was Delhi. Option C, Delhi is the correct answer. Question number nine. And now you must be wondering why National Mission for Clean Ganga is doing this because Yamuna is a tributary of Ganga, right? So please don't get confused here. In which district of UP, Uttar Pradesh, National Institute of Unani Medicine, which is a satellite institute of The institute located in Bangalore, basically the National Institute of Unani Medicine. It is headquartered in Bangalore. Now, this another National Institute of Unani Medicine will be a satellite, or you can say the subsidiary institute of this main headquarter, right? So, the question in which district of UP it is being constructed at a cost of 381 crores, right? So, this district belongs to NCR, that is Ghaziabad. Option C is the correct answer. And the last question for today, very very important question: Which banks have been assigned by Ministry of Defence to provide financial services in the form of letter of credit and direct benefit transfer business for overseas procurement by the ministry? Can you identify the name of these banks? Yes, the two banks are the domestic systematically important banks. These are ICICI, HDFC, and along with these there are there is one more bank, and that is Axis Bank. so these three banks have been assigned by the ministry of defense for this purpose right so option c 1 3 and 5 will be the correct answer all right all right guys so that's it for today's session i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear and i will see you in the next session tomorrow because abhi maine bataya tha this week the sessions will be conducted daily from monday to friday right because of the parliamentary sessions uh so parliamentary session which is going on right So thank you so much goodbye take care and god bless